Good morning, it's James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving, and very well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. I'm deeply grateful to have the honor and the blessing of laying eyes on you this morning. And I'm really looking forward to seeing and reading and feeling what it is this message brings up for you. I want to talk about the adverse times that we're living in, the times that are testing us right now. When I woke up this morning, I was thinking about times in my life over the last few years where adversity had come back up in ways that's like, oh my gosh, I know you. I know you from a standpoint of making me want to stop believing in myself. Adverse conditions that made me feel like I wasn't worthy. Adverse environments where I didn't know, where I knew I didn't belong and I was just doing everything I could to fit in. I wanted to find a place to call home. I think that all of us these days are looking for places that we can honestly and authentically own our hearts knowing and give ourselves permission to breathe life into that knowing, especially times when we're stuck and we're lost, we're feeling we're up against things and even questioning whether or not we have what it takes to continue moving forward. Please know, I know what that feels like. And I wanna share with you a couple of things that have happened in my life that have kept me moving forward in this quest to continually create a life that I truly love, a life that's authentic, a life that's true, and a life that does not steer clear of what it means to be fully awake by moving through the dark days and doing it with my lights on and not running away from what I know I need to learn in those dark experiences. So 40 years ago, I had a spiritual teacher who came into my life. He said, I want you to really understand how powerful it is when you exercise the power of intention. He went on to share with me what he believed was the etymology from a very spiritual place of the word intention. He said, it's how we set to identify our core characteristics, the things that give us character. And when we do that, they will enable us to overcome adversity. He said, when you're up against something, you're feeling dark, you're feeling hopeless, you're feeling lost, Get clear about the things that you hold deep inside of your core character traits. Hold fast to them, pray on them, put them into a place where you give yourself permission to identify deeply with them. And when you do, this will help you to remember who you are to overcome adversity. He also said that the word motivation gets overplayed in the self-help circles because we should really understand that motivation isn't about a rah-rah session of, come on, get out there, you can keep going, you've got this. You know, all those platitudes, which I've been known to use, <laughs> my goodness. But I always come back to when I'm being deeply real and deeply authentic to my core. I think about the word motivation from its, um, its etymology, which is motivus, which simply means having a cause greater than ourselves that puts us into motion. Motivus, having a cause that's greater than ourselves that puts us into motion. I think when you put intention and motivation, motivus, intention together, we can overcome anything. We get a chance to wake up on mornings like today if there's something moving inside you that feels like it wants to hold you back, that you're feeling um, a challenge with your worthiness, you're wondering whether or not you really do have what it takes, take a moment and think about the deep character core traits of who you are. You know they're there. Take the time and identify with them. Fall back in love with them. And then connect into something that is bigger than you, the motivus, if you will, that puts you into motion. We are all being asked to outlove the darkness at times. We're all being asked to outlove the hate all the time. And we're all being asked right now to stand for the truth of who we are because the truth of who we are is always more than enough and always giving us permission to evolve into a space of grace that gives us permission to be who we came here to be, fully awake, fully alive, fully with meaning and purpose the reason why you're here. Thank you for your time today. It's so good to see you. And please share, share what's moving for you these days so we can hold it for you. As a community, we can move through this together. Much love, all the blessings. Bye for now.